In this session we're going to look at some of the basics of VAT. Now VAT stands for Value Added Tax and this is a tax that businesses charge on the value of the goods and services that they supply to their customers. Now it's charged at three rates. There is the standard rate which is charged at 20% of, of the net value of the goods and services and that applies to most goods and services. There's also a, re a reduced rate of 5%. Um, uh, this is only applied to a small number of uh, goods and services, for instance home en energy bills. And lastly we have um, zero rated um, sales. Now this is where there's a VAT rate of 0% applied um, and this uh, is used for supplies and goods of uh, things such as most foods and children's clothes. In addition to that there are also some goods and services that are just what are called what's called exempt from VAT so VAT is just not even considered and that would include first and second class stamps, insurance uh, and loan interest. So let's have a look at how um, VAT would be calculated. So let's say that we've got a computer manufacturer that sells a computer for £400. The manufacturer is registered for VAT and computers are standard rated for VAT which means that um, the 20% VAT rate should be applied. Well the net price is £400 the VAT that should be charged on that £400 is 20% of £400 or £80 and the gross price um, which is the net plus the VAT is 480 and that £480 is the amount that the customer has to pay. So how does VAT work? Well businesses that are registered for VAT and that involves um, businesses with uh, vatable turnover of more than £83,000 a year at the moment and each year it does go up a little bit. Um, they have to charge VAT at the appropriate, appropriate rate on their sales and they include the VAT on their sales invoices. Now at the same time businesses are incurring VAT on the goods and services that they buy from their suppliers. At the end of a quarter, so that's every three months, a business will add up all of the VAT that, is, that it's charged on its sales, it'll add up all the VAT that it's been charged by its suppliers and it'll calculate the difference between those two amounts. If the amount that um, the business has charged on its sales is greater than the VAT that it's incurred on its cost, then the difference will be paid over to HM Revenue and Customs. If however the VAT on uh, its sales is less than the VAT on its cost, then the difference is going to be reclaimed from HM Revenue and Customs. So let's illustrate this. Um, in the three months ended 31st of December 2015, um, a business made net sales of £10,000 on which £2,000 worth of VAT was charged. So all of those net sales um, uh, was charged at the standard rate. The business also incurred net purchases of £6,000 on which the business paid £1,200. Uh, so the VAT for the quarter ended 31st of December 2015 is as follows. We take the VAT chargeable on the sales of 2000 and we deduct the VAT that's been incurred on purchases of 1200 That leaves us with VAT that's payable to HM Revenue and Customs of £800 and that would be paid um, shortly after the quarter end. Now we're going to finish off this session by looking at something called the VAT fraction. Now the VAT fraction 
um, enables us to calculate VAT um, from gross amounts recorded on an invoice. And this is uh, relevant because on retail invoices for smaller amounts, and we're talking about um, uh, uh, invoices totaling £250 or less, a business isn't obliged to show the VAT that's included in the amount payable separately. Um, so a business might receive an invoice from a supplier which doesn't record the VAT and net figures so how can the business calculate the VAT to record um, it in its books and then reclaim that VAT that's been incurred against the VAT that's chargeable on its sales each quarter? Well, the way this is done is using something called the VAT fraction. And this is a way to calculate the net and VAT amounts of an invoice from the gross amount that's been charged. Now, where goods and services are being charged at the standard rate of VAT, that is 20%, the fractions are as follows. We take our gross amount, and the VAT is going to be one-sixth of the gross amount. The net, however, is going to be the remainder, or five-sixths of the gross amount. So let's just illustrate this. Um, so a business receives an invoice for £48, and it knows that VAT is included in that amount at the standard rate, but the net and VAT amounts are not shown separately on the invoice. So we start with that gross amount of £48. The VAT element of that amount will be one-sixth of £48, or £8. The net amount will be the remainder, or five-sixths of £48, or £40. And that's how we would calculate the net and VAT amounts um, of, a, of an invoice where only the gross amount is shown. 